My name is Alex Mendoza, and this is my essay. Uh, the first caption uh, first reads, Six plates, one belly. Breakfast is my kryptonite. The first image displays my happiness. Um, this breakfast consisted of honey sweet toast with powdered sugar coat, an egg omelet topped with tomatoes and onions with spinach spices, a plate of bacon, eggs, and a slow roasted beef biscuit, a double chocolate waffle with whipped cream and cherries, and finally, a hearty bread combination with sausage and cheese dressing. I cherish my moments once I see something worth living for. At that time, my girlfriend was in shock and awe about my appetite. She felt that it was necessary to capture this moment using my iPod. <laughs> One of the things about me is that I do not take my nutrition lightly. I love and love satisfying my taste buds and my belly. Ever since I have been in sports beginning my 6th grade year, I have what trainers call a high metabolism rate, meaning my food digests pretty quickly. I love being hungry all the time. It gives me an excuse to, get, to grab huge plates of food. The second caption reads, Yes, I was here. And it's a picture of two handprints on a signpost in a dark trail at Black Star Canyon. The second image is a signpost with handprints on it. It's not a little repetitive. <laughs> this took place at Black Star Canyon near Santiago Canyon Road at midnight. The trail here is said to be haunted and notable by hikers' personal experiences. There have been reports of sounds of Native American drumming, rocks being thrown, and soft whistling, as well as sights of black shadows and dark figures appearing. What led me to come to this place is my personal interest in the paranormal. My curiosity has driven me to explore this area and write about my own experiences about the trail. So far, I haven't been able to see anything concrete, but I was able to hear soft whistling sounds and lots of birds singing. Maybe the third time's a charm. This third picture shows my MacBook, my plate of Rice Krispies, my TV remote, my Wii, Wii Nintendo console remote, and my playing cards. And this is called the Man Cave. <laughs> this is what it's like at home, my space. It's only inherent that a few cohorts would label me as a couch potato. My dad does it too. I spend most of my time web surfing and watching movies on Netflix. This is my way of keeping up to date to the most recent events and current news. I've dawdled about this habit before. However, I couldn't bring myself to find any other alternative to spend my free time. I do not see a downside to any of this lone space. My remote controls are right where I want them to be, and the kitchen is a mere 10 feet away to my living room. Currently, the only reasons why I leave my couch are my job, community events, and school. This next picture shows my girlfriend and her holding a heart-shaped crust pizza from Pronto Pizza. And this caption reads, Love stuffed crust with pepperoni. <laughs> Valentine's Day 2013. This is when I left Santa Ana Library to go home. I've let my girlfriend know that I was tired and hungry and had only one of the comfort my humble abode could provide. Her mother had picked her up from her job as well and wondered what her daughter may be up to on Valentine's. I mean, it would seem natural that her daughter would wonder. Um, my girlfriend had just the idea and had made a special request from the local Pronto Pizza. To my surprise, I opened the pizza box to find a heart-shaped pizza. I have not received this much appreciation from one person or, or a sweet and savory heart-shaped pie. Through her acknowledgement and support, I am now what I am today. An always hungry individual with a huge heart waiting for me at the end of the day. And this last picture reads, The best kind of work is family work. This is my mom, older brother, and younger sister. This, there was a community event being held at our church, and we were in a charge of providing food for the people attended. My brother assisted my sister in assorting the vegetables. My mom made the huge pots of soup and rice while I made the hot dogs wrapped in bacon. Our religious beliefs have, my, have guided my family to a more secure life. We would always look out for each other and hope for the best. Thank you.